Today, we're gonna make an animal cell model using edible materials. Blue pea rice for the cytoplasm, nori for the cell membrane, black pepper for the ribosomes, egg for the nucleus, hot dogs for the mitochondria, carrot for the lysosome, coyote for the vacuum, baby corn for the centrioles, Enoki mushroom for the Golgi apparatus, soba noodles for the smooth and raw, and the plasmic reticulum. Let's get started! It's my finished product! Yay! This is the plasma membrane. It controls the kind of substance that enters the cell. This is the mitochondrion. It acts as a powerhouse of the cell. This is the raw endoplasmic reticulum. Its role is to synthesize protein and insulin in pancreatic cells. This is the vacuole. It acts as storage for water and substances. This is the Golgi apparatus. It processes, packages, and stores cell secretions. This is the lysosome. It stores enzymes for the digestion of carbohydrates, protein, and fats. This is the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Its role is to synthesize lipid, store ion, metabolize carbohydrates, and detoxify drugs. These are centrioles. They aid in cell division. These are ribosomes. They act as a protein assembler. This blue part is the cytoplasm. It is a jelly-like substance that contains all the organelles. This is the nucleus. It controls the activity of the cell. In the center of the nucleus is the nucleus. It, it is where ribosomes are assembled. So there you go. Here is my Japanese-inspired animal cell. Yo!